Okay, it's day one of the New Zealand Open. Practice days out of the way, and I'm asking the big questions. Where's the laundry, man? This is not a common sight. Chuck a load on, set the washing machine going. Quick shower, and then back out to hang the washing out again. This video is actually from my wife's private collection. It's one of her favorites. Quick check of the socials. A cup of tea, and I'm clearing out the yard book, uh, ready for some new numbers of the new pin placements. Even though we're not teeing off to 1 p.m., I've got an early shuttle. Morning, mate. Are you from down here? From Oh, yeah, that's sweet. Played my first ever round of golf in Invercargill. I was like 12 and something, and shot 120 something, which I was pretty happy with at the time. I'm the kind of person that'll try taking shots that shouldn't have. A couple of guys I play with, one, the guy I play mostly with, he's like that. Just can't help himself. Best day at the New Zealand Open. Pretty amped about it. Beautiful day, get the sunscreen on, we'll be away. I forgot my bag from the day before, grabbed my polo, got changed into the official shirt before having a quick look around the village. Sponsors were setting up, uh, it was starting to get a buzz. Uh, this is the view around to the final hole. Tried the greens out for myself. Uh, you can see I'm not that great. And headed to the players lounge to catch some Liverpool highlights. Pretty stoked they changed the channel for me, that was very nice. Good 2-0 win over Wolves. Next job up was to put the pin placements on the yard book. This is how I do it. Okay, so you get your pin placements in metres. My guys in yards, so transfer from 13 to 15, 6 to 7 ish yards. So 15 from the right front, 7 from the right end, 15 from here, and then 7 in from the right to get our mark. It's about here. I'll do a little cross here. And because we're playing uh, the rocks, sort of in these ones here. And it's downhill, so it'll be minus four off the total. So green will be 15, elevation minus four. I hope that made sense to you. I'm still working it out. Done the pin placements, picked up with some painkillers. Let's get into it. Can't do much through the round, but uh, yeah, I'll give you some review at the end. I'm not allowed to use my camera while the round's going on so there's no footage to show you but it's fair to say it was a tough round and we were pretty hungry afterwards. Alright so we just finished, quarter to seven, my guy's looking for a feed, players land shut at six, all the cafes booked out, anyway he's going back to the room for room service, I'm going back to the uh, accommodation. Chit chat. Well, obviously we're internationally famous here, our pies but I'll tell you what though, you get, I mean Inspired by my conversation with the shuttle driver, uh, I decided to pick up a very average pie and some stale chips for dinner and enjoy the picturesque Arrow Town. Not the best round today with my guy, pretty tough conditions in the wind, exposed up on the hill of Coronet and uh, we shot one over. We're going to have to do better on the Remarkables uh, tomorrow but the Remarkables is definitely an easier course. Uh, Chris Wood shot a course record there today of 10 under, so a 61, which is pretty uh, exceptional. I'm not sure if I like the format of two different courses because courses play challenging on some days in the same conditions, morning or afternoon. There's certainly some advantages and disadvantages based on your tee time. Uh, but you've got to take it as it comes, eh? We certainly expect the cut line to be minus three, maybe even minus four tomorrow. Uh, so we need to get on the birdie train early. So fingers crossed. That's it from me. I'm gassed. I'm going home to get into a carbo coma. Ready for a big day of birdies tomorrow. Chip.